deep in the void amongst all the trade routes, our vast space station used for trade and relations. While you're there, you have to remember, there's an unspoken rule, and that is everything in trade. It's also known that there is no free rides, ever. If you try to, or if you try to steal, you might just find yourselves in shackles for a very long time, doing things you don't want to do. One would think that this would mean the place is an absolute cesspool, when in fact, if you can dismiss the trade happening in the corners of the room, under the tables, or in the alleyways, the stations are usually clean and very civil, especially since everyone there is usually armed. In fact, as long as you have your body, you actually have something to trade. This could be manual labor, intellectual expertise, something intimate, or even parts of the body itself. So no matter what, if you're on a space station, you are never without an empty pocket. This is where the new species, known as humans, make their best deals with certain other species. Humans are actually the only sentient species that does not have a mating cycle, so they're always able to exchange if possible. There are rules to follow, explicit rules to follow, and because of this, more than one extac has been spaced after attempting to eat a human after mating them. There was also a warning to the species Delechnishnook that found out that human musculature is actually so powerful that they risk multiple endoskeletal fractures, primarily in the pelvis area, and unfortunately a few have died from broken pelvises. Thinking about these instances, they are entertaining, but they are actually warnings. Warnings that the Breckish should have heeded. The brackish are species that survive by ingesting hemoglobin from other species. Normally, they only need to drink this substance on rare occasion, and yet they do have the ability to consume meats. They still have teeth that can rip off flesh and chew it if need be, it's just not as efficient. Though similar to humans, the complexion and sharp angles of the face are an absolute dead giveaway for the brackish. When one was cleaning up, after an incident with an extac, the brackish decided to test the human blood, as they had never had it before. The thrill and intoxication she received from it was more than enough to addict her to it, and she just wanted more. The word traveled fast after this incident, and soon humans actually traded crates full of cooled blood for technology and resources. The brackish are some of the wealthiest species and technologically advanced, yet they seem to run through their coffers quickly to procure more and more of their desired drink that could actually be looked more as a narcotic. When they ran out of resources to trade, they fell back on trading with their bodies, yet the underground trade led quickly to issues. Even though they were willing to pay up front, they weren't exactly sure what they were going to get and the Brackish learned that if the human had just beaten a disease, the blood was very bitter. Would still give them the euphoria, of course, but it was almost hard to get down. If the human was unhealthy, the blood had a, as they put it, fatty, fat, fatty texture to it. Not something they actually enjoyed, plus it does not digest well. In fact, many times it will give them a certain eruption, Either they will belch so loud that it will echo down the hall, or they will excrete air out of another orifice with enough power that it might just pick them off the ground, especially if there's an open flame anywhere nearby. If the human is taking any chemicals, as though they're taking some sort of basic nutrient medication or anything like that, the blood would taste a bit chemical. Not something that they totally would throw away, but the brackish would prefer something without the chemical taste. Also, any illicit substance would make the blood completely unpalatable. The brackish found out that you need to find a human of good health, preferably great health, that is. The brackish would say, the more natural, the better. Yet, the idea of coercing trade once the inhibitions were down... Well, that's something that is common, as it usually gets you a better deal, 
But for the brackish, it turned out to be a bad idea. Humans, as it turned out, would ingest extremely high quantities of ethyl alcohol, such large quantities, before their inhibitions were actually low enough to allow a brackish to eat their fill. The ethyl alcohol got into the blood, and it gave a different flavor based on whatever drinks the human was putting down. Most brackish males actually preferred the, as they put it, smoky flavor whenever a human was ingesting whiskey, scotch, or any of those type of alcohols. Most female brackish liked the lighter, as they say, frou-frou flavors that were there, something as they found out was called actually a fruity flavor with a hint of sweetness, and they tend to drink a lot more than they actually should. This could seem all well and good, as the humans were paid for it, but it was only good for the brackish for a few minutes. Many brackish were then rushed to the aid station due to doubling over in pain as their bodies began to digest what they just sucked down. Many had to be put into incubators trying to hold their body together while the doctors figure out what the hell was going on, and eventually they found out that ethyl alcohol, once put into the bloodstream, especially of a human, is actually very toxic to a brackish and had a high risk of ending one of the brackish within just a few minutes of ingestion. Because of so many getting ill and many just falling over dead in unexcruciating pain, this led to many laws in brackish society that put into effect in order to protect the population from this. It is now illegal to drink any human blood, at least human blood that's not from approved sources, ones that come from those that had donated, those that were in actually good health. This would allow trade to keep going, the brackish would get what they want, they just wouldn't get it in the quantities that they actually desired. The trade of goods and services continues upon the space stations in spite of the laws, regardless of how toxic humans can be. On the stations, Whenever a human ships arrive, one can always pass by and see a few brackish simply standing next to the docking port. Most of them are in wore out clothes as they've been on the stations for so long and can't get new clothing as they simply burn out their own coffers, and all of them are holding a sign, but each of them is in a separate human language, but they all say the same thing. Everything in trade. Hello everybody, this is Syntex. Thank you so much for joining me today on this short story. Before I go, I need to send out a few special thank yous to a few of my supporters, and those would be Erica Jem, MTF Guard, Brian Kemp, SS Demon, Chris Dixon, and Guardian Sage. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Everybody else, I'll see you on the next one. This is Syntex, punching out.